arm in the quicker in the other, and I'm going to click and reward each time he makes eye contact. So one of the main problems I'm dealing with with Sadie is that from the first day I got her, today's the second, she's been continuously pacing, whining, and going towards the door. There are several theories why she may be doing this. First of all, it's not because she has to go potty because she does it even after she had peed and pooped. So I have a few different theories. One is that possibly she was an outdoor dog or she had a doggy door. Another possibility is that she's smelling the wildlife around here. There are skunks, raccoons, and rabbits. Uh, another possibility is that she's smelling my free range chickens and she wants to go out to chase them. And then I'm thinking maybe it could be that she's looking for the owner because once I take her out, she wants to go towards the gate, almost like if she's looking for somebody. I've had several dogs over that had separation anxiety, and this is something that they used to do. So there are several possibilities, and we're going to work on reducing this behavior. And we're going to measure and see if this uh, behavior diminishes over time. What a good girl!
not many people will have access to a tunnel, but the good news is that you can replace the tunnel with some brain games and a training technique known as capturing, both of which I will be showing you later on. Today we're going to show how to teach your dog how to catch a frisbee. Okay, I'm in Shepherd. His name is Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hey, buddy. Want to play frisbee? So today I just introduced him to the frisbee. Okay, and what I have is a puncture-resistant uh, frisbee, and I highly recommend this frisbee because it's not going to shatter or fall apart on you. I had one for my last German Shepherd. Uh, bogey and it lasted him all the way to the end of his life and I ended up burying him uh, with his frisbee. He loved it that much. So this is what we do. Frisbee, come here. Come on. Get the frisbee. See what I'm doing now is I'm teaching him how to jump up and get the frisbee in his mouth like that. Good boy. Good boy. Now he's only 12 weeks old so you're not going to expect him to catch the frisbee immediately. But what you can do to make it easy, what I do is I flip it over like this so he has something to grab onto. Ready? Go get it. And what he's practicing right now is not only jumping up and putting the frisbee in his mouth, but fetching it and bringing it back. So he's 12 weeks old right now. It's my little boy, Sammy. He thinks it's a chew toy. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Sammy. Good boy. Good boy. So we'll try that again. He loves that frisbee. Whoops, he's jumping up before I can get it. Ready? Get it. Good boy, Sammy. Good boy. And this is how you get your dog interested in playing frisbee at a young age. And uh, what you can do, too, is we have a bunch of uh, tennis balls lying around the house. So you can take the tennis ball. All, at this age, all dogs love to chase the tennis ball. But what you can do is start doing the same thing. But instead of holding the frisbee up here, hold the tennis ball up there so they get used to jumping up. That jumping up and grabbing it in their mouth. And eventually what you can do is just take, at a close range, take the tennis ball and just kind of throw it. Um, toward their nose and eventually they'll start opening their mouth and catching it in there and they'll make that correlation with the frisbee as well. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to check back and I'll keep uh, documenting this and along with uh, Sammy's progress on catching a frisbee. Okay I forgot to mention one last thing too. In order to get your dog also further prepped to catch a frisbee, try doing this. Ready? What, what I do is I put it on the end of his nose. See what he does? Okay, let's try that again. And also, to release the frisbee, you want to say firmly, drop. Drop it. Drop. And he'll get used to that, too. So, sit. 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 That's all you do. Right on the top of the nose. And he'll pop his head up, and he'll catch it like that. That's it. Okay, so we will check in a little bit further down the road. Uh, today is December 5th, 2013. So we'll try to do a progress report every so often. Not sure exactly when, but that's it for now. For 8th, 2013, and we're working on Frisbee training. Frisbee. Oh, yes, frisbee. I love frisbee. So what I have now, I have a couple different frisbees too. This is a really soft cloth one. And this one's a mesh with some kind of styrofoam probably in the inside. But what I'm doing is, Sammy, <laughs> it's like I'm thirsty. But what I'm doing is we're working on not just throwing it over to a specific area or whatever and having him chase it, but I'll show you in a second, after he gets some water. Sammy, get the frisbee. So what I'm doing is I'm walking. I'm walking with the frisbee. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get the frisbee. Get it. 
He's just learning this. <laughs> well, no, you're not supposed to just grab it, Sammy. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it. Get it. Get the frisbee. Get it. So we're getting him to walk. Get it. Walk, walk and jump. And catch the frisbee in his mouth. So, this is really uh, stage two of what we're doing. The first time we met, what we did was we had the frisbee. <laughs> he doesn't want to let go of it. Drop. Drop. Good boy. And the first time we were just holding it up in the air, and he was jumping up and catching it. And we were also going like that, putting it on, putting it on the top of his nose so he could lift his head up and catch it. So today we started the walking with it and he's following it and then jumping up in the air. So he's getting himself used to it. Now, he's still 12 weeks old. He's going on 13 weeks. And what we're doing is we have this little soft frisbee that I just throw in the air like that and it bounces off his nose and he tries to catch it. But he's getting used to getting used to the frisbees and it's going to take a little while it's not going to happen overnight and you know you're going to it's going to take a lot of time effort and patience to get your dog to catch a frisbee but it will happen when you put that time and effort in it will happen so these are the uh, gradual training steps that we're doing <laughs> Okay, one thing you can do too is to take a tennis ball and work on your dog catching the tennis ball. Like that. Something simple. But what he's doing is, it's kind of like hand-eye coordination, but for a dog it's eye-mouth coordination. And he's coordinating his mouth with the tennis ball. And that will transfer over to the frisbee. So what I did there was I gave it a different angle. Instead of throwing it up in the air, I bounced it on the ground. And that gives him even more perception of depth and a different angle on how to catch things. So work on that with your puppy. Um, if, if you're indoors, if the weather's not great, if you can't make it outside for a particular day, you can always use a tennis ball and, and uh, work with your dog doing that. <laughs> That's what we're doing with our cloth frisbee. Ready, Sammy? <laughs> and there it is. Good boy. Good boy, Sammy. Ready? Ready? Here it comes. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, I just wanted to show that. It wasn't just a one-time fluke. You know, he, he's doing this on a regular basis. <laughs> Ready? Usually. <laughs> Here it comes. Ready? <laughs> he goes, that's easy. That's an easy trick to do. But yeah, um, so he was born on September 1st. So September, October, November, December. So essentially, he's still three months old, but he's almost just about four months old and uh, catching a frisbee on a regular basis. Okay, just on a side note, the dog in the title clip of the video was my last German Shepherd, Bogey, who I had to put to sleep about five years ago. When Bogey was two years old, he was playing ball with my daughter in our backyard, and when he jumped up to catch it, he landed awkwardly on his back leg and fractured it in four different places. So after $10,000 in surgery, he basically had a bionic leg put together with all sorts of rods and pins. But as you can see, this picture was taken several years after his surgery. And I sent the picture to a surgeon thanking him for restructuring his leg and allowing him to do what he loves to do, which is to play frisbee. Now, I've seen all sorts of breeds of dogs catch frisbees, including many rescue dogs from shelters and a female Doberman 
who was wonderful at catching them. So it really doesn't matter what type of breed you have as long as their mouths are big enough to catch a Frisbee. The bottom line is to take the time and effort with your dog, and he or she will reward you handsomely. I'll do a follow-up video on Sammy's progress, but for now, this video is all you really need to teach your dog how to catch a Frisbee. Enjoy and have fun.